Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Visual Artist Spotlight. We are here with Richard Martinez, one of our artists for our Celebrating Hispanic and Latino Culture and Heritage Art Exhibit at the Old City Hall Art Gallery, opening on May 5th. Uh, How's it going, Richard? Pretty good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. Uh, How about you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Well, my name is Rich Martinez. I'm a full-time artist now. I'm retired. I do artwork. I do surrealism. And I'm working on uh, colored pencil and OMS, which is uh, odorless mineral spirits. It's a new uh, medium that I just got into during the pandemic. And so uh, it's been a lot of fun and uh, it's been a challenge because I had no idea what it was. But I think it's really cool the way um, it looks like a watercolor, maybe an acrylic painting. And it's just actually colored pencil. Wow, I think people are going to be really impressed when they see it. I know I was. So let's get to uh, know a little bit about you. Uh, Where are you from and what brought you to Reading? Well, I grew up in Roseville. That's east of Sacramento. Um, I was pretty much born and raised there. Uh, I went to grammar school, high school. And then after high school, I joined the Army and I went overseas. And then I came back and went to school. And I went to Chico State. Um, I was a double major communications and graphic design and then uh, fine arts painting and drawing so speaking of graphic design it sounds like you did a lot of graphic design work for tv stations you won i think five national awards and seems like you have had a lot of experiences that opened uh, doors to your kind of current artistic expression do you want to talk a little bit about that yeah, uh, the graphic design was uh, was really a good vehicle for me to take at the time because it did open up some doors. I was able to do a lot of illustrations. I did real estate development. And so a developer would come and say, hey, I'm going to build over here and we need an illustration of the building. But we have no lawn or grass yet. It's dirt. Put a bunch of trees in there. Put a bunch of bushes and flowers. So that part gave me the ability to be creative. So I would paint these really large paintings paintings, but it was commercial art. For me, it wasn't like I was doing a painting for myself, Yeah. but it paid the bills, you know, so that was cool. How long did you work in graphic design? I was a graphic designer for 35 years, but I was in real estate development. My forte was actually corporate identity. The five awards that I received were doing um, corporate IDs, you know, logos for uh, big major developers in the uh, Placer County area. We're looking for a new logo here at the Arts Council, so maybe we can get you out of retirement. (laughs) You you have uh, this young lady here. (laughs) Yeah, Michaela, uh, she seems like the perfect person to whip something out for you. I think you're right about that. 30 plus years working in graphic design and you're finally retired and now here you are back and uh, and painting, right? Yes, I paint pretty much every day. I I try to keep a schedule. Um, I get up early. As I said, I'm working on colored pencils right now. I'm doing a series of rusted trucks that are left in vacant lots or out in a field in Missouri or Wyoming and Mm Um, they have a lot of color. The patina, the rust in there, people don't realize there's so much color, and I really love color. Uh, one of my mentors uh, was uh, Gary Pruner at American River College, and he was uh, totally into color. So I try to incorporate that in everything that I do now. It looks like you have an event coming up here celebrating Hispanic and Latino culture and heritage art exhibit at Old City Hall. Um, opening on May 5th. It should be open for about a month. How many uh, pieces are you going to have in here? I have four pieces that I'm showing right now, and they're the uh, the truck series that I was talking about. I'm going to go back into oil painting because um, for the last couple of years during the pandemic, I've just been doing the colored pencil work. Yeah. But I, I am going to go back into the oil painting. Well, hey, how can people uh, get in touch with you? Obviously, you can come and check out this gallery and look at these four pieces. But yeah, how can people get in touch and keep up with your art and events and stay connected? Um, They can go on Instagram, which is Remrock underscore art or on Facebook, Richard Martinez. Okay, cool. And I'll put the links to those pages in the description below as well. Anything you want to say before we wrap up? I mean, we got a pretty good introduction about who you are and what you do, but I really think people just got to come and see the art in person. I, I think that Shasta Arts Council is doing with the Latino art. It's going to be a great thing for the Latino people to come up and show their artwork. I know that, speaking for myself, there's always a lot of color involved, and I really uh, enjoy seeing that. I think there's a lot of nice art 
artwork that's being displayed right now. So you heard it here, Richard Martinez at the Shasta County Arts Council for our visual artist spotlight for the month of May. Uh, come on down and check out the art gallery. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you.